Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Early Bird. Oh, if you're an early bird, be an early bird and catch the worm for your breakfast plate. If you're a bird, be an early bird. But if you're a worm, sleep late. Sky Seasoning. A piece of sky broke off through a crack in the ceiling right into my soup. Kerplop! I really must state that I usually hate lentil soup, but I ate every drop. Delicious, delicious. A little bit, a bit like plaster. But so delicious, goodness sake, I could have eaten a lentil soup lake. It's amazing the difference a bit of sky can make. The Farmer and the Queen She's coming, the farmer said to the owl. Oh, what shall I do? What shall I do? Shall I bow when she comes? Shall I twiddle my thumbs? The owl asked, Who? The queen, the queen, the royal queen, shall pass the farm today. Shall I salute? He asked the horse. The horse said, Nay. Shall I give her a gift? He asked the wren. A lovely memento for her to keep? An egg or a peach or an ear of corn? The wren said, Cheap. But should I curtsy or should I cheer? Oh, here's her carriage now. What should I do? Asked the dog. The dog said, Bow. And so he did. And so she passed. Oh, tra-la-la-la-la. She smiled. She did, he told the sheep. The sheep said, Bah. Who wants a pancake? Sweet and piping hot. Good little Grace looks up and says, I'll take the one from the top. Who else wants a pancake? Fresh off the griddle. Terrible Teresa smiles and says, I'll take the one in the middle. Smart. My dad gave me one dollar bill, because he said I'm his smartest son. I swapped it for two shiny quarters, because two is more than one. And then I took the quarters and traded them to Lou for three dimes. Guess he didn't know three is more than two. Just then, along came old blind Bates, and just because he can't see, he gave me four nickels for my three dimes, and four is more than three. I took the nickels to Harem Coombs, down at the seed feed store, and the fool gave me five pennies for them, and five is more than four. I went and showed my dad, and he got red in the cheeks. He closed his eyes and shook his head, too proud of me to speak. Us. Me and him, him and me, we're always together, as you can see. So I'd leave. I wish he'd leave, so I'd be free. I'm getting a little bit tired of he. And he may be bored with me. On movies and ladies, we cannot agree. I like the mountains. I lo he likes the mountains. I love the sea. I like hot chocolate. He wants his tea. I want to sleep, and he has to pee. He's meaner and duller and fatter than me. But I guess there's worse things we could be. Instead of two, we could be three. Me and him, and him and me. I'm making a list. I'm making a list of things I must say for politeness, and goodness and kindness and gentleness, sweetness and rightness. Hello, pardon me. How are you? Excuse me. Bless you. May I? Thank you. Goodbye. If you know some that I have forgot, please stick them in your eye. Me and my giant. I have a friend who is a giant, and he lives where the tall weeds grow. He's as high as a mountain and as wide as a barn, and I only come up to his toe, you know. I only come up to his toe. When the daylight grows dim, I talk with him. Way down on the marshy sands, and his ear is too far away to hear. But still he understands. He stands. I know he understands. For we have a code called the scratch-tap code, and here is what we do. I scratch his toe. Once means hello, and twice means how are you. Three means, does it look like rain? Four times means, don't cry. Five times means, I'll scratch you a joke. And six times means, goodbye, goodbye. Six times means, goodbye. He answers me by tapping his toe. Once means, hello, friend. Two taps means, it's very nice to feel your scratch again. Three taps means, it's lonely here with my head at the top of the sky. Four taps means, today an eagle smiled as she flew by. Five taps means, oops, I bumped my head against the moon. Six means sigh, and seven means bye. And eight means come back soon, soon, soon. Eight means come back soon. And then I scratch a thousand times, and he taps with a babbity bim. He laughs so hard he shakes the sky. That means I'm tickling him. Rain. I opened my eyes and looked up at the rain, and it dripped in my head and flowed into my brain. 
and that is all I hear as I lie in my bed, is the slushy slosh of the rain in my head. I step very softly, I walk very slow. I can't do a handstand, I might overflow. So pardon the wild, crazy thing I just said. I'm not the same since there's rain in my head. Two boxes. Two boxes met upon the road. One said unto the other, If you're a box, and I'm a box, then you must be my brother. Our sides are thin, we're caving in. We must get no thinner. So two boxes, hand in hand, went home to have their dinner.